Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today on Cooking Up Love, we're making baked caramel popcorn. This popcorn recipe is the perfect sweet treat for movie nights, parties, and it's one of our favorite game day Super Bowl snacks. It's so easy to make the buttery salted caramel for this recipe, and in less than an hour, you'll have 24 cups of the best caramel popcorn. And if you've been missing your favorite Disneyland treats, enjoy a little bit of Disney magic at home with this sweet buttery caramel popcorn. To make it a homemade Cracker Jack mix, just add some Spanish peanuts before you add the caramel. Take a look at our ingredients and I've also listed them and the recipe in the description box below. Begin by preheating the oven to 250 degrees. Spray a large roasting pan or two large baking sheets with non-stick cooking spray. I'm using my favorite, Ruby Red Popcorn. It has super tender kernels and less of the holes that sometimes get stuck in your teeth. In a heavy bottom pot, cover the bottom with your choice of oil. I'm using avocado oil. You can start by adding a few kernels, cover and let them pop, and then add the rest. And sometimes I just heat the oil up a bit and add the kernels. Add enough popcorn kernels to cover the bottom of the pan in a single layer. Cover and cook over medium high heat, shaking just a few times so that the kernels can heat up. And once they start popping, begin shaking the pan. Then, just cook until the popping stops. I'm making two batches of popcorn in this pan, which will make about 24 cups of popped corn. Pick out any unpopped kernels, and if you're using nuts, add them now. Then place the roasting pan into the warm oven. In a medium large saucepan, melt the one cup of butter. Stir in two cups of brown sugar, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half cup of syrup. I'm using Lyle's Golden Syrup, and this has a deep caramelized, buttery flavor. You can also use corn syrup. Stir the mixture to combine and to dissolve the brown sugar. Stirring constantly, bring this mixture to a boil over medium heat, and then boil over medium heat for five minutes without stirring. If you have a candy thermometer, check the temperature at around five minutes. We're looking for the softball stage, which is 240 degrees. You can also drop a little bit of the syrup in cold water, let it cool for a second, and pick up the ball. If you can easily press it flat, it's ready. Remove the pan from heat and add one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of vanilla and stir. And this is why you'll want to choose a medium large pan. The caramel begins to foam up when you add the baking soda and this will make the caramel lighter, smoother, and super easy to coat the popcorn. If this is your first time at our channel, welcome. We're making easy, no-fail recipes that you can make with confidence and share with everyone you love. I'd love to have you join us every week when we share new recipes. Subscribe to find out when we've posted a new recipe. Remove the popped popcorn from the oven and then carefully pour the hot caramel over the warm popcorn. Stir the popcorn together to combine and the caramel will be super hot, so just be careful not to touch it. And don't worry if it's not perfectly spread at first. The caramel will continue to spread around during the next step. Bake in the preheated 250 degree oven for 45 minutes to one hour, stirring every 15 minutes. The caramel will become less sticky as it bakes. Test the caramel popcorn after 45 minutes and if it's still chewy, pop it back into the oven for a few more minutes to finish hardening the caramel. Once it's done baking, remove the pan from the oven and let it cool. Break up any large chunks of caramel popcorn and serve. Keep any leftovers in an airtight container at room temperature for three to five days. This salted buttery caramel popcorn is the perfect sweet treat for your next Super Bowl party. What other Super Bowl snacks are you serving? Let us know in the comments below. Hey guys, if you like this recipe, do me a favor and hit the like button. It really helps us out. And if you're looking for more easy and delicious party food, check out this playlist I put together for you. Thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the next video.